Hello folks, this is David from Omega Engineering. Today we're going to be connecting a strain gauge that is bonded onto a stainless steel flat, complete our quarter bridge using a BCM module, give the output from the BCM to a DP25B meter. Now for this process of strain measurement, we need a DP25B-S strain meter, a bridge completion module, BCM-1, a jumper wire, a 120 ohm strain gauge that is bonded onto a stainless steel flat, and a clamp. Now if you want to know how to attach a strain gauge onto the stainless steel flat, please see our previous video titled how to apply strain gauges. So if you look at the side of the BCM, you'll see a schematic on how you're going to connect your strain gauge to the BCM-1 module. There is a 120 ohm strain gauge connected to plus BRG and plus signal. And there is a jumper between plus signal and 120. So let's go ahead and wire it. So the flying leads from the strain gauge connect to plus BRG and plus signal as indicated on the first schematic. And I have added a jumper between plus signal and 120 ohm. This is also listed on the manual of the BCM-1. So now that you have connected your strain gauge to the BCM-1 module, if you look on the right side of the BCM-1 module, you have positive excitation, negative excitation, and your voltage out. Go ahead and connect that to the DP25B-S meter. So basically positive excitation connects to number two on TB2. Negative excitation connects to number one on TB2 positive signal connects to number 6 on TB2, negative signal connects to number 7 on TB2. That's how you connect a strain gauge to the BCM and the BCM module to the DP25B-S meter. We've taken the clamp and then clamped the stainless steel flat to the table and now when I bend the stainless steel flat you can actually see strain being applied on the stainless steel flat and being displayed on the DP25B-S meter. So there you go folks, that's how you connect a strain gauge to the BCM and the BCM to the DP25B-S meter. If you have any other questions or concerns, feel free to give us a call. We'll be more than happy to talk to you about your application and help you set up your strain gauge. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll be showing you how to scale the DP25B-S meter to read microstrain.